anti-Afro Spengalis. Listen, people, I apologize for the time between videos. I've been busy offline trying to catch up and then I've been helping another friend get her live streams up and running. No, it's not breaking the culture of silence. It's someone else that I've been helping and I was cleaning up my library, organizing things, my video library. And I came across a video that is so right on target. And it's from 2019 from someone by the name of Walter Hampton. And it brings it right on home. I apologize in advance for some of the language you are going to hear, but if I took out this language, it just wouldn't be as effective as I know it could be. Now, it's very important for those of you out there who have genuine support for the mission, this channel, and for me to recognize this is not applying to you, but you might be very interested in hearing me reemphasize my disposition because I have little time, relatively little time to actually spend on YouTube. So I am going to make sure I spend that time wisely with strategies and objectives that have an actual goal. What's important is giving the content that people who support me and I support them are asking for, they will benefit from, and it's community service, giving information. This is a community service. I'm providing information. If other people don't like it, they don't have to like it. But I want to share this message to those out there, whoever you are, if you feel I really am going to be consumed with negative things you say about me, you're mistaken. I'm only going to deal with certain things, certain things. And this message is for those who are working so hard to try to get me to respond to things I'm just not going to respond to. If it was worth me responding to, I would, I really would, but it's simply not. So Walter Hampton drives this point home and I want to let you hear it. So be sure you don't touch that dial after you hear buyer beware. Fuck you niggas. I don't give a fuck what you think about what I said or didn't say. That's your fucking opinion. You can keep keeping keep, keep it and sticking up your goddamn ass as far as I'm concerned. Get the fuck out my face. I'm too old for this shit, y'all. I don't need you bitter motherfuckers for shit. I don't need you. I don't understand why y'all seem to think that I should be all, oh my God. They worried about what they said. Oh, I'm so worried about what they said. Uh, they don't like me. Uh, fuck you and the ship you rode in on. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about what you think about me and what I said and how I handled this and that. And that. Fuck you. I don't care. And I don't know why people seem to think I should care. I don't care what you people think about me because you ain't doing shit for my ass and you never have and you never fucking will. I'm glad I live my life like that. Because I won't let you bitches silence me because you don't like my opinion about something. That's, this is my motherfucking opinion. You don't have to like it. You don't have to come around me. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to follow me on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. You can delete me, block me, and go about your motherfucking life. I don't give a fuck. Why is it so hard for you motherfuckers to understand that? So you don't have to approach me at LA Fitness, the airport, Starbucks or Kroger's, Walmart or Target. No, stop it. It's foolish. You're not ever going to do anything for me. You, if I fell down, these niggas would step over me and keep going. I know how you people operate. <laughs> I've lived here for 30 fucking years. 30 years. And this is some good damn coffee I found. So you don't have to hit, hit me up, hunt me down. And in many instances, I don't want you motherfuckers to really know who I am. You mad at the whole wide world. I can't do nothing about that. It all boils down to how you live your life. You control your destiny. You control your life. 
You control what happens in your life and what you allow in your life. See, I learned a long time ago, I wasn't getting involved with cocaine, methamphetamine, mollies, popping pills. I saw all this shit. I've seen this stuff and around it for 30 fucking years. Y'all rolling your eyes and looking at me. This has been going on forever. Long before it was the Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, niggas was hating each other. When I first got to Atlanta back in 1989, I was, people said, well, people, somebody said they don't like you. And I'm like, well, what did I do? Back then, when I was a 19-year-old teenager who's a fool, who was the, t I learned something then, though. Because you don't have to do nothing. I say now you can just stand in the club, hold a drink, and put a smile on your face, on your face, and the niggas will come up to you, what you smiling about, what you so happy about. You won't make me miserable. I'm happy. I live a good life. Disease free over here. I don't worry myself about what you niggas think about me. You won't destroy me. You won't drag me down into the gutter with your bullshit. See, I already know. That if I was on Instagram or with a fans only page or only fans account and I was jacking my dick and I was necking on there and I was having sex with a whole bunch of people, you all would love me. New pictures all over the internet, oh, we just love all the necking. Not stupid. I realize what's going on in these streets. And there is the main reason why these motherfuckers hate me so much. Keep on hating them. Cause ain't nothing gonna change. So for those of you who spend your time wondering, and, and you don't have to search me out, I knock on my door, I come around me to express your angst, cause I don't give a fuck. I don't care what you think about me. You're not feeding me, financing me, taking care of me. And if I needed so much as a glass of water, you motherfuckers wouldn't give it to me. I'm out of here and enjoy life like I'm doing. Quit hating folks for no reason. I'm out.